another couple has been found guilty of murder for participating in this Christian to train up a child parenting. Alicia Bayer writes about this in The Examiner, and she says two parents in Washington state have been found guilty of murder after allegedly following the abusive parenting techniques advocated in the parenting book to train up a child by Michael and Debbie Pearl. Larry and Carrie Williams received the maximum prison sentences allowable under the law after being found guilty of beating and starving their adopted daughter Hannah to death. The methods they used to, quote, discipline their daughter were advocated in the controversial Christian book. According to The New York Times, late one night this May, the adopted girl was found face down, naked and emaciated in the backyard. Her death was caused by hypothermia and malnutrition, both uh, uh, both common among these uh, who, these Christian punishment advocates. The according to the sheriff's report, the parents had deprived her of food for days at a time, made her sleep in a cold barn or a closet and shower outside with a hose. They often whipped her, leaving marks on her legs. The mother had praised the Pearls's book and given a copy to a friend, according to the sheriff's report. So some of the discipline techniques that are advocated in the Pearl's book, again, it's called to train up a child, include using plastic tubing to beat children since it's too light to cause damage to the muscle or the bone, wearing the plastic tubing around your neck all the time so that the child is constantly reminded by that plastic tubing that they must obey Lewis swatting babies as young as six months old was it with instruments such as a 12 inch willowy branch uh, blanket training babies by hitting them with an instrument if they try to crawl off a blanket on the floor and beating older children with rulers, paddles and larger tree branches. Also, you can hose off children who have potty training incidents. Just take out a hose and start hosing them off. This is unbelievable, Lewis. This is the sickest form of parenting. That is, I, I, don't, I understand it's called Christian parenting or whatever. The average Christian would never subscribe to this. This is an extremist element that has perverted Christianity, which has its own problems in its true form. Christianity has its fair share of problems. This is a perversion of Christianity, and the couple is the third set of parents to be found guilty of killing their children who were followers of the pearls. Don't the pearls need to be charged as accessories to murder? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Of course, at the very least, this book should not be allowed on any uh, bookshelf in the country. Well, but, but hold on. See, that's controversial, though, because then you're getting into banned book lists and that that really is a problem. I think the book should be allowed as a as a piece of of uh, of prose. But if that book can be tied to so many children's death, then maybe the writers of the book, the authors need to need to face uh, the consequences. Well, come on, David. I mean, this is part of the reason why the anarchist cookbook is not allowed in many places. It's the exact same thing. It's mm. dangerous. And I mean, um, I guess that's a separate argument. And even another separate argument is is how often that these children yeah. who end up in these situations are adopted. Um, of and course. That, that I find interesting as well. No question about it. And I've been meeting some people who work in the foster care system here in New York City and the stories they tell me about some foster parents are also incredible. So it, it does seem that there is something specific going on with with uh, these types of discipline and foster and adoptive parents. Horrible story.